Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, this is a brief video. Uh, it's five months. The patient keeps talking six months, but we got the, the calendar out, and it's five months and four days uh, since his uh, repair hair transplant uh, that we did. And he is, his curse is uh, he came in here with this result a couple of years out from paying somebody else, and he's got such white skin and such black hair, and they left him kind of a big crappy scar. And together, he and I decided to go for as much hair as possible and sew up to his old scar. So in a little bit, when you see him turn around, you see, you'll see a scar there. Our plan in the future, uh, when we do a second case, is to cut that scar up in the future. But he wanted as much hair as he could get. And even that, it was only like 2,100 grafts or something. Yeah, he had very... He's depleted. And, yeah. yeah. So here he is at the end, of, end of the case. And when you were just talking about how the spaces are where he had hair before, right? Oh, yeah. So it's not... You will look at it, it's not like super, super tight as we normally do it. It's the spaces that you see in between is the hair that he had paid for, elsewhere. Paid for somewhere else. Yeah. And so he did a good job cleaning. He and his mom came like every day, I think. And uh, then he rolled in here a couple days ago, uh, saying it was six months. But then I remember I turned it in my truck the day that he got his surgery done. It's been five months and four days. And so uh, uh, this guy did not want his face shown. But here he is. With, without topic on, you know, kind of indirect uh, lighting from the blue wall. And it's thin hair, but remember it's at five months, and uh, repair of guys, it takes 15 months, so it's probably 40% gone, something like that. Yeah, you think that he's, yeah, 30 to 40. Yeah, and so now look at his video. So Steve, uh, I know you don't want your face shown, and I took pictures of you a second ago. You are six months out from me doing a repair case on you. How many grafts do we do? I haven't looked at your chart. Uh, I think we did about 2,000. Yeah, I hear, you're not terribly about? dense. You'd gotten done once before someplace else. Don't say who that is. Yep. And I heard you just telling our patient today that um, you swelled more with me, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Hurt, hurt, hurt a little less with me. Correct. Spin around one time and face the blue wall and look up at the ceiling. And so at some point, you and your mother are going to roll back in here. We're going to start right there and work back. But it's six months on you repair guys. It takes 15 or 16 months to get the final results. So you look a little better than Wendy and I were expecting you to today. Uh, spin back around. Again, I won't get your face. Chin up a little, little bit. So if you, you got any advice for people that might be looking at this? Um, I would say definitely have it done, done with uh, Dr. Lindsay. Um, it's pretty easy after one week. And I'm now six... Six months out, and I'm pretty happy. This is fantastic. Well, it's only going to get better, I can tell you. Everything, uh, I, I would honestly be happy if it stopped now. These are better uh, results than I had, had the first time, and I'm only, I think you said, Dr. Lindsay, at 30%, 40%. Yeah, probably 40 Of what um, it, it'll be looking like. Yeah. yeah. And was that pretty upfront with you? I didn't get Oh, yeah. Around no, around. That, okay. that's why uh, I... Your mom thought I was pretty upfront. That's why I chose uh, Dr. Lindsay. You didn't say that I'd have a full head of hair. I'd look, uh, <laughs> I'd look like uh, Brad, Brad uh, Pitt after this was done. You were just honest and said, "Here's, here's what you can do, and take it or leave it." Yeah, and, yeah. Because uh, your curse is you've got such white skin and such black hair. Exactly. But when you get another fifty percent uh, or double the amount of hair when it grows in, I think you're gonna look really good. And when you get a little gray with some knowledge like I got. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming today. Great. So Steve, uh, this is a follow-up to what we just did a minute ago, and you went into the bathroom, sprinkled on a little bit of topic, and the yep. key is a little bit, because a lot of topic, and you look like, uh, well, you just don't look right. Right. But that looks <laughs> awesome, uh, and you look perfect. And, and spin around one time, let me get a picture of the back of your head, look up at the ceiling a little bit. So yeah, I mean, a little topic, and you, you're done. And uh, I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. Uh, good. Thanks. And so I particularly like his video that he talks about, you know, even if he didn't get any more hair now, he'd be happy. Well, I wouldn't be happy. But, uh, yeah, I would not be happy yet. But I think we'll be happy. But he's we'll right on track. I think yeah. we'll all be happy uh, about, a year, about 10 months from now. And then uh, we put on a little bit of topic. And then he, 
I think you probably hit on a little too much topic for my palette. It, it looks better in person than it looked in that, that video. But then when he spun around, you could see the scar, and that's why he was a little topic back there. And remember, people, that that was a joint decision. He left his old scar there, and we'll get it uh, at his next surgery, almost certainly. Do you want to add anything? Well, yeah. Um, this patient has always, he, he likes to wear lots of topics. Yeah. And he doesn't mind that at all. Like, he, and that's why. He said that he will be happy even if it stays like that. I think he'll be like happily surprised on the 15th month. Yeah. And we'll keep you posted and see his results. Yeah. All right, well, if we can help you, please give us a call. Thank you.